So for e-commerce store owners and entrepreneurs, building a list of emails to market to can be one of the best ways to spend your time and marketing dollars. And what we've discovered is that email is one of the most effective ways to reach your customers and prospects. In fact, the global consulting firm McKinsey & Company found that email is 40 times more effective at conversions than all social media put together. So many shopping carts we use usually integrate one or more email newsletter providers with MailChimp being the one that seems to be integrated in practically all of them. But you still have to collect those email addresses and get people to sign up. So as annoying as many people think they are, pop-ups are one of the easiest and most effective ways to gather those email addresses. And we can do it in a variety of different ways. It usually involves creating an incentive for buyers to sign up. Unfortunately, trying to get a pop-up set up on your e-commerce store is not always the easiest thing. You either need to pay for an application, which sometimes, you know, has a monthly fee associated with it, or hire a programmer to set it up for you. But today I'm going to show you how to set up a pop-up on your Shopify store at zero cost to you. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, when we think about our pop-up, a lot of times people just do a generic sign up for our list or sign up for our newsletter. But usually an incentive is a great way to get people to sign up. So in this case, I'm going to create a free shipping coupon that we can attach to the welcome email that goes out to everybody. Now Shopify's discounts out of the box are not what I call the most sophisticated, but if you need more granularity, you can look at their bulk discount apps, which I believe is free. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna make it simple so we can get to, to, to why you're here, which is creating the pop-up. So first of all, the thing that you need to do is, uh, if you haven't already, go sign up for MailChimp. But I'm uh, assuming most of you already have, and this still works regardless of whether you have Constant Contact, Aweber, get response or a few others and, and when we get into it I'll show you which ones it's supported uh, but for this case here we're going to use MailChimp so I have my MailChimp account set up I've created a new list here which is my test store email list right and the first thing that I want to do is come into our sign up forms and into our general forms now obviously when someone signs up it is a a double opt-in for them so what we're going to come down to is we want to come down to this confirmation thank you page and what we're going to do is this is where we're actually going to create our coupon at so your subscription to our list of thank you for subscribing the coupon code for free shipping is let's say Free ship new um, 10. And you can change this up however you want. So I'm just going to copy that, save and close. And when someone signs up and confirms, they will get their, their coupon code in here. So um, we're going to come back to this here. Now, over here, I have my test store. As you can see, there's nothing in it right now. Right, so first thing that we want to do is log into our store and we want to go ahead and create our discounts. So in this case here, I'm going to do a free shipping discount and discount code is going to be free ship 10 and no limit on that. Discount type is going to be free shipping and it only applies to the United States. So we're gonna do this for one. And we're, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna expire this one month from now, or at the end of the month, we'll say. And then that way, we can set up a new coupon so people don't try and keep using this over and over again. So we'll save that there. There's our coupon code. So. Uh, fourth, let's go ahead and set up the pop-up. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to sumome.com. All right, and this is created by the guys over at AppSumo. And why they're doing it for free is beyond me because it's a great little it's a great little tool. So I'll click the Get Started button. And if you're using WordPress, they have a plugin. But in this case here, we're just going to get the HTML code, which is a small script. And I'm going to copy this. So you either Command C and Mac, Control C on your Windows. And we come back into the background here 
this is uh, for our test tour. We come over to themes and we're going to go up to this button here and we're going to edit the HTML and CSS. Right. So don't don't freak out that there's a lot of coding involved. It's just pasting it into one spot. So we click this theme liquid here. And what we want to do is it will tell you to go ahead and paste the, paste the following into the head of your email. So what we can see here is we have the head here. And so we can pretty much do this anywhere. I just want to show you down here. There's the end of the head. So I always like to put it right here. So I'm going to command V is our script there. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Asset was saved successfully. Now we come to the front of our store. Right? And as you can see now, this it's really tiny, you can hardly see it. There is this little button right over here, and we, we can change where this shows up as well. So but if you click that here. It's going to say, hey, looks like it's a new site. Great, let's get started. So I'm going to sign up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to set up a, uh, a particular uh, a throwaway email address that I have. So submit that and this gives us this little area right here so what we want to do is we want to go into the sumo store right and we actually want to come down to our list builder and we're gonna click on that it's now installed so we come back here and it's built right here so there's our list builder right it's gonna do this pop-up right here and it gives you some great little stats, but we're going to come through and we're going to design this, right? So this is what it's going to look like right now. So the template, you know, they have graph like that. You need to buy these, right, if you want to, but I'm just going to stick with the default, which works just fine for us. And you can do this a medium, you can do it as a large, extra large, but I'm just going to keep it at small and sign up to get a free shipping coupon. All right, so really simple. You can make it look a little bit nicer. Um, we can do this, which will match the colors a little bit more for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this little code here, which is center. Right, and I'm going to close this off with a center, and this is going to center the entire portion here. So, sign up today for free, and we will we'll send you a free a coupon for free shipping on your order. All right, you can see, nice and simple. Text fonts will keep it black. Give me my coupon. The button color, I'm going to do more of this red up here, and you can go ahead and play around with, um, go ahead and play around with these colors to make it match your site a little bit more. Enter your email address, success heading. You're now subscribed, continue. So, and you can even change the background color if you have different colors within your website. So, uh, I'm going to save this right now just so we can keep it saved there. And we're going to look at behavior. Um, normally, I just keep this smart. Uh, frequency, I show this every 14 days. We don't want to pop up every single time, right? Um, show on all devices and you can even exclude this from particular pages so if you wanted to do something internally like only on internal pages versus your home page you can do that as well so we save that go over to our services you can see it supports mailchimp aweber constant contact campaign monitor and get response so we're going to come over here to mailchimp and i'm going to connect this button here 
login. And I'm going to send this to the test store email. And now anytime someone signs up, it's going to be added to that list that we actually have created. So save that. Advanced, you probably won't play with too much, but right now, that's it. That's all you literally have to do. And so um, that's it. You're done. You're done. You can play around with your settings here, which um, will allow you to change the badge. You can do it down to the bottom right if you want. We save that, and it goes down here. Um, but on that, that's it. Close it up here. And so let's go to There we go, there it popped up here. Enter our email address so we can say chris at online storehelp.com, give me my coupon, and it will go through the entire process. So again, really, really simple, great way. You can see, and this is actually all responsive as well, so it will, it will show up onto your smartphone as well. And the only thing you gotta put up with is this little Powered by Sumo Me, which is down at the bottom, which is not a big deal. So go ahead and play around with it. And uh, what, I'll, what I'll do as well is if you wanna sign up below, I will go ahead and show you how to use this on Big Commerce as well. So any questions, go ahead and send me an email. I'd love to hear from you.